Yes, every time I see a Boeing 757, I think about the fun times I've had with it so far in the flight simulator and perhaps in real life. Yes, the 757 introduced in the 1980s, known as the Atari Ferrari. Ferrari being that it's fast. Yes, we've got these beautiful Royce Royce engines. Do not touch. And Atari means that the cockpit for the time was incredibly modern. You can see glass cockpit. I mean, we're talking about the 80s, one of the first planes to actually feature a glass cockpit that actually works kind of well. Really, really nice. The airplane truly known as the sports car of the skies was again, especially with the Rolls Royce engines. You were able to choose between Rolls Royce and Pratt and Whitney engines. Well, airlines were able to. As you can see, Rolls does have a little bit more profound. It's over 43,000 pounds of thrust these engines can deliver, which means that technically this airplane uses less runway than a 737. Yes, a very low weight to power ratio that we'll now use. Let's go ahead and get these engines to run to full power. Yes, we can hear that plane fully spool up. Perfect. We're a very, very light, low fuel. Let's go ahead and release the parking brake. Yes, let's do it. Yes, yeah, see this, we're able to gain speed incredibly fast. There we go, we can easily take off here, even on runways that aren't specifically made for planes this big, and we can pretty much vertically take off without, without, as you can see, losing too much speed. Yes, this is a normal climb you can perform on the 757. See this? Right now we're properly, we're gaining speed in it and, and check out our climb ratio. This little airport down here has never seen a plane climb this incredibly fast. There we go, we're not losing speed. Yes, the 757, the plane known for, you know, the flaps having to be um, placed up on departure very quickly because the plane very quickly overspeeded the flaps even. And just like that, we're able to climb to over 42,000 feet. Very, very high service ceiling. Yeah, this is a 757-200. We also had the 300. We also had the 200F, which is the cargo variant. Over a thousand of these were built. A massively successful airplane that we all know is, you know, on the, on the airlines kind of struggling to replace the airliner since it works so well still. It's aged pretty damn well. 1980s, come on. The nail in the coffin for this plane was set in 2004 and it's still flying around. I, you know, I still kind of regularly fly it on Condor, for example, in Europe. And you can sit very well in that cabin, but you can feel that incredible power. This plane is incredibly fun to fly. So let's go ahead and maybe use those abilities. Yes, how about flying this beautiful little airplane, which does have a little bit of total landing gear, you can see. It might be kind of a candidate for a butter machine. Let me try landing this plane at places where you would normally not see a 757. You can see these beautiful spoilers come up. We're kind of high and very, very fast here on approach to this Lodrino airport, something like that. We're somewhere in Italy, so that's great. I mean, of course, the sports car also has to have sports car brakes. It has to brake really quickly. Let's see if that turns out to for the 757. I might have not used the full capabilities of butterization here with this airplane here on this landing, but there you go. We are stopping. We're going full into the brakes and that stopped in no time. Oh yes, of course. We're talking about an incredibly powerful engine. That was actually not that bad of a landing. I think the, the, the butterization capabilities of this airplane isn't bad at all. Check this out. Beautiful. And these beautiful engines here pulling for reverse thrust pull a lot of reverse thrust. This plane practically has the ability to fly to any airport that is somewhat flyable by a jet. I mean, uh, seriously, I mean, look at this. This is not a jet airport. Great. Let me try Locarno Airport here. Very south of Switzerland, it's got an only 800 meter long runway. Not even that. I mean, check this out. This is a very short runway now. 800 meters, definitely nothing to joke about. But I promise here, we're going to be able to land and no issues at all. Come on, sport airplane slowing down nicely, just as you should. As you can see, you can nicely bring the speed of this airplane down to like 120 knots, and it'll sit happily, and it'll fly happily with the flaps extended. Let's do it. Perfect, reverse thrust. Let's go ahead and do it. Nice, what a nicely flying airplane. We can even hear some clapping. That's great, that's a good success. The fact that we were able to stop so quickly, check that out. Beautiful landing. This plane flies so nicely. I know it's kind of hard to properly guess how a plane flies in real life from the flight simulator. 
This is a very nicely designed model. Let me check this out. I don't know, beneath the flaps, this looks beautiful. We stopped in, what is it? Surely less than half of this runway. That is absolutely incredible. And that gives me a lot of confidence to maybe fly to St. Bartholomew Island, the island that we've visited in real life. It's got a 600 meter long runway. <laughs> Pretty damn low, but kind of normal here at St. Bartholomew. In fact, so much confidence that we're going to be landing this airplane on the proper side, the 1-0 side, which means we're going to fly down the mountain. Nice. Perfect. This plane is so well controllable. It's incredible. Truly an sports car. Let's go ahead and now land. Do it. I don't want to hear that sound. All right, we can hear the passengers clapping and we are able to stop just fine on the runway. That was incredible. I mean, this has been absolutely beautiful. Like it's incredible how this plane handles all this. Although I do have to say that this plane is obviously empty. Yeah, there's no passengers in it. There's barely any fuel in it. There's just the base plane without anything in it. But still, despite that, this thing is amazing and performs amazingly. Maybe let's try to take off here at the 757. We're only 1-0, and I promise you, I promise you this will work. Taking off from 600 meters. Yes, this plane needs only around, like, what is it, 2,000 meters to take off? At least that's in real life. This thing needs a whole lot less here. Okay, come on, let's do it. Releasing the brakes, let's go. Meanwhile, put those flaps out so that they are coming out while we try to lift off, which is the important bit. All right, there we go. 100 knots, 120 knots, something like that. There we go. We're able to take off at just fine. That was a bit of a tail strike. I'm sorry. But there we go. We were able to take off just, just fine indeed. Check out how the skyrocket literally works. Like, how are you able to stall this airplane? Check that is so incredible. We're still at 140, 140 knots. That's just fine. This thing flies like a little private jet, maybe a fighter jet even. You can even pull up some stunts here too while we're climbing up. There you go, little aileron roll. Please. All right, there you go. That's worked just fine. Perfect. Just nice. You can see the little wing flex. Absolutely beautiful. Right, we might have lost our engine. And so now we've got the ram or turbine. But still, this plane, even without the engines, flies well. Hmm. Maybe it's time for the Haugaland test. Right in front of us, we've got a runway. That's like 500 meters long, 400 meters long. Even shorter. I promise you this will work too. Yes. What a shame that the 757 is slowly but surely dying out. No one wants to fly a plane that's over 20 years old. If you have the chance to ever fly on one of those, you have to, because you ain't gonna have it forever. 757, isn't it to die for? Come on, let's land on this runway that you can see down there. Let me do a smooth landing. All right, that's been a bit of a short one. Okay, all right, that proves okay. We might not be able to land this plane anymore. Although this has been a very, very short stop too. Yeah, relatively late landing. Check out kind of a butter machine. Come on, let's be real. Uh, but still, that didn't work. We didn't quite make it here. <laughs> Great. So we're the Boeing 757, an absolutely beautiful plane, a sports plane. Atari, Ferrari. There you go. We're able to take off just fine. Although this runway, according to the flight simulator, isn't paved. That's no problem at all either. I swear to God by you, we're going to be able to take off. Yeah. There you go. It didn't touch any little piece of water. Now, once you're in the air, you can properly vertically put this plane up. Beautiful. So once again, that is the message. Fly as long as you still can. And everybody, thank you guys so much for watching this sporty video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night. And we've actually been able to crash this plane. Mm, yeah. Now, thank you very much to my highly supporting members like Jamie Ashton, Mike C, James Duram, Ragings, Met RLG, Matt Van Z, Moritz, Wellhausen, Knott's Enthusiast, Shadow, New the York, Ryland Williams, Kelly Chaos, John O'Brien, and I'm addicted to Airbus A380s. Thank you.